So if you talk to anyone from Chicago, they'll tell you it's the greatest city on the planet. Jane, you are from the Chicago I area. I am. Yeah, we were, were talking before the show, but please yes. introduce him. Would you say that it is the greatest city on the I planet? I would say it's the greatest city, and I've been around. Here and there, but Chicago is a unique city, and I'm sure this guy will tell you but why. That's because they have especially the history in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, my next guest, Love of Chicago, has spawned a TikTok channel where he shares the history of the Windy City. It's become so popular that he's now giving tours, and it's even caught the attention of the mayor's office. <laughs> so cool. Uh, but this is my favorite part. He actually started the channel for his daughters because he wanted to share his love of his hometown with, with them. And I think that's so great. So that's why we call him a good neighbor. So good. I like that part. <laughs> Please welcome Sherman Dilla Thomas, y'all. <laughs> well, meet everybody. I got a full couch. Yes. Yes. Hey, how you doing, man? You. I love it. I was telling you this before, but I love that you started this for your daughters. That's so cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Like, what sparked it? Why did you start it? Where well, it's you... exactly like you're saying. I did it for my daughters, right? Especially my eight-year-old Bailey. She wanted to be TikTok famous, right? Do all the little yeah. dances. And so I told her, I said, hey, baby, there's a million people doing that. And so it needs to be really good to go viral. But if you let me feed you Chicago history stories, you're a cute little girl. You'll go viral in no time. So she looked me up and down. I don't want to do that, Dad. So to I prove love her it. wrong. She shot you down. Right? You know? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, now I got to prove her wrong. So I did one. And man, it, it, it took off. Uh, I got my love of history from my father. He was a Chicago police officer for 30 oh, wow. years. He was, That's uh, amazing. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Service. That's amazing. So he, he was uh, famously one of Mayor Harold Washington's bodyguards, and a lot of Chicago luminaries in that detail, but he loved history. It kind of shaped how I view the city, so I'm hoping that I'm passing that on to my kids and others. Well, you definitely made it cool now. Like, like she just showed her. Right? Like, I went viral. <laughs> oh my God. So, okay, so can you drop some mind-blowing Chicago history on me right now? I don't know much. So. Well, everything about Chicago is mind-blowing and awesome, but I think my favorite story is the fireman's pole, right? Whether you're a kid or a fireman, you all pretended to slide down the fireman's pole, right? Yeah. So that was invented in Chicago by African-Americans on the South Side in the 1870s. You know, firemen used to fight fires on horses, right? Right. Before the trains. And horses need hay. So they used to store the hay in the top of the firehouses. There's a black dude up there taking a nap one day. The fire bell rings. He doesn't want to get in trouble, so he slides down the pole right there. The chief saw it and was like, oh, man, that is genius. What happened was, though... That's how it started? That, that, that's cool. how it started, right? So um, <laughs> what happened, though, is that the other fire stations was like, hey, these black firemen are sliding down poles, right? And I'm sure you can imagine the jokes that they would make, but what... Uh, <laughs> The city would award the fastest firehouse based on their response with an award every year. And Engine 21, which was the black fire station, they won every year. By the end of the 1880s, the fire department said every firehouse got to have one of those poles and it spread nationwide. That's crazy. That's cool. That literally was mind blowing. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's so cool that you did. Any of y'all know that? No, no. I had no idea. If, if one of you said you knew that, I was gonna call you a liar. <laughs> I was gonna ask like you lied. I almost did, but I did. Lies and deception. <laughs> right. um, well, okay, so your channel has caught the attention of a lot of prominent people. That's right, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. It's kind of crazy, right? The Obama Presidential Library folks reached out to me. The mayor. Wow. Um, the, wow. So Thomas Lennon, Lieutenant Dangle from Reno 911. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> Love it. He reached out to me. He and I are actually working on a uh, um, Chicago history show and uh, another uh, series, so it's, it's been real crazy. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I think that's so cool. The origins of things like that. That's yeah. so cool and interesting and how they came about. Um, well, so you have goals that go beyond the channel, so what are they? Uh, well, I think in a lot of spaces, people don't understand the histories of the space that they come from, right? And so I think that's part of the problem with Chicago. If you look on the news, we get a, a national black eye. It's hard to come through the city and not be affected by, like, crime and those type of things, but we're a city of second chances, right? And so I want to get my own bus. I want to raise money to get a bus to do neighborhood tours. I think if you understand the history of the space, you treat that space better. I think particularly the South Side and the West Side don't get enough investment and enough attention. And so I want to shine that light. I want to match up partners and sponsors with school kids so I can give them tours of the spaces that they come from. And it's brilliant, like especially I can see how the mayor would love that. 
Because it's brilliant for tourism as well. People will want to come if you're like, like I just heard that story and I'm like, well, what else is there about Chicago? I didn't know. Like that, it makes it really interesting that everybody wants to learn about that place and it mm -hmm. promotes money. But you know, for, for that, you know, monetarily speaking, that's great for the community as well. It promotes all of that. I think that's so great and so smart. I hope more people start doing this in their community. It's yeah. so cool, yeah. yeah. Thank you. To really know the background. And I think right. historical perspective is so important, mm -hmm. especially for kids in, you know, I'm from the South Side. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, when you know about your where you grew up and what came before you in order for you to be living here is you get a whole new love for it and an appreciation that you don't have right now. So you're you're really uh, doing a great service, Thank especially you. for the kids. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. That's the biggest thing. I think. Well, we love what Dylan's doing for the city of Chicago. So to help you expand everything you're doing, we're going to give you five thousand oh. dollars. Oh. 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 O